What's up guys, Sean here with Spencer's Lawn Care. We are currently heading out to a big commercial that I mow. You guys have seen it a million times. I've had it for years and years and years. But uh, it's that time of the year when you sign contracts for the upcoming year, 2019. And for you new guys, if you're coming into this and you're looking to pick up commercial work or you know go into the industrial side of things, right now, the year before, is the time to try to get the commercial properties. Uh, I like to say September, October, November, December, you know, those last four months, uh, those are when commercial properties are looking to set up their budgets for the next year. They need to know exactly what lawn care, snow removal, landscaping, mulching, you know, any of that stuff is going to cost them for the year coming up. They do everything in advance and they plan ahead of time just so they stay under budget. So for all you new guys, Make sure you're out there right now, probably a little bit behind the game right now coming to the end of November, but don't let that scare you. Get out there and freaking get some you get some commercial properties, guys. November, December are still hot months, and uh, any commercial I've ever picked up other than one, I've picked up in September, October, November, or December. So make sure you're out there, make sure you're making yourself present, walk in the door, introduce yourself, drop a business card off, Ask them if they're accepting uh, bids or estimates for their lawn care, landscaping, snow removal. They say yes, give them a free estimate right then and there. And if they say no, say, uh, you know, when will you guys be accepting it? Or can I leave a business card and, you, and give me a call? Or can I call back in the spring? Or, you know, you just, you're just creating a contact, guys, and creating uh, your name and your face in their mind. And if you hear no from a business, I, I see this a lot, guys. If a person hears no from a business, they never go back. That's a big no-no, guys. Go in there every single year because you never know when somebody's going to go out of business. They're going to quit lawn care. Uh, you know, when a company's looking just to entertain bids for a better price or to stay competitive or just to make sure the company they have right now is being honest. So... You know, even if you hear a no from a company, make sure you go back to that company the next year and just walk in there with a nice big smile. I'm Spencer's Lawn Care. I wanted to know if you were accepting bids for 2019. I would love to give you guys a free estimate if I could do that. Generally, they'll give you the contact information of the person in charge of that, or they'll say, yeah, go ahead, bring it back to the door, drop it off, yada, yada, yada. Or they'll just say, no, we're not entertaining. You know, we have somebody right now. And then you just, you know, thank you for your time. Uh, I'll see you in the future. Here's a business card. If, you know, something changes, have a great day. It's just creating that contact, guys. But anyways, let's get out here. We are signing the contracts for the snow removal for this year. And also the lawn care for the next coming year, 2019. Let's go. Don't wear your sunglasses into a meeting, guys. Just so you know. Let's go. Now, obviously, I'm not going to record inside the meeting, but I do want to give you guys kind of a first impression or first person kind of view walking up you know it can be nerve-wracking guys it can uh, you don't want to say the wrong thing I like the motto of less talking more listening <laughs> the way I look at it but uh yeah let's go go ahead take a little hi how can I help you hi I'm here for a meeting with pretty much how you do it. Good morning. Alright guys, just now leaving the big company there and I have a snow plow estimate that, that's just right around the corner actually. It kind of worked out really good uh, that I'm in the area for both. So we're going to run over here real quick and do this snow plow estimate for a residential property. Alright guys, just leaving this residential uh, plow 
super easy driveway. The uh, the only thing, the toughest thing about it is just the walkways. Uh, has a real long walkway that wraps around the front of the house, and uh, that'll add some snow shoveling into that. So obviously, price just goes up a little bit. But uh, the plowing itself, super easy. Probably two, three back drags, and then push it off to the side, and yeah, be good to go. All right, guys, gotta run in. Giant eagle here real quick. Savannah's making some Thanksgiving stuff. And uh, sorry if it's real blurry, guys. I don't have the freaking Joby with me. So it's probably bouncing a little bit. But anyways, I gotta run into Giant Eagle real quick. She's making some, what is she making? She has sweet potatoes or something? She needs marshmallows and yams. Uh, I don't know what else she needs. I'm waiting on her to text me, but I'm gonna pick that stuff up for her real quick. I made the mistake of allowing my wife to call me into going to the grocery store. Yeah, this guy's way. <clears throat> Calling me into stopping at the grocery store. Said she just needed a couple things. So I told her to text me and let me know what she needed. I got the whole freaking list and caboodle, you know. You know how they like to do. She's lucky I love her. But anyways, grabbed a couple Marie Calendar pies now don't get me wrong guys this stuff ain't really for me i will probably have a very small piece of one of them but this is for my parents house we've got some pies walnuts marshmallows mini marshmallows uh what else are we getting brown sugar just stuff for baking uh cherry pie It's always funny people look at y'all crazy whenever they see you recording. And then uh, this one's just a pumpkin. 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 I drive Savannah crazy with that. Because I say pumpkin. She's like, it's pumpkin. I'm like, nope, it's pumpkin. <laughs> but, yeah, I made that mistake. And I even asked my mom the other day. I'm gonna have to get my mom on YouTube sometime because she's a character. I don't know where she, where she gets it from, but she's a character. But I clearly called her the other day when I was at the store grocery shopping. Now, my mom likes to be slick. See, my mom knows she'll wait till the last minute and get fresh pies that are made like the day before. So tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you guys. I hope you have a great day with your family. But my mom likes to be slick, so I don't know. It's probably been about a week ago. Me and Savannah went grocery shopping, and I called her and I said, Hey, do you need anything at all for Thanksgiving? Desserts, anything? No, I got everything. We're good to go, blah, blah, blah. Well, she knew I would buy them then, freeze them, and then bring them. So she likes to be slick and wait until the day before and say, Hey, if you can, bring some dessert. Knowing dang well, I'm going to run out here and buy some desserts. So, Savannah talked to her this morning. She was like, hey, I need some desserts. We got freaking desserts, Mom. You're slick. I know. I got I got you down. I, I figured you out a long time ago. But that's why we love you. I'll have to get my mom on here sometime. You guys you guys will trip. She's a, she's a hoot. I got this one here for 27 I'm pretty much going, I know, with a magnetic. I don't want to bolt anything permanently. Then they have this Lampus, I believe it's called, Nano Flare, uh, for 129 
This one's got four and a half, four and a half star rating. Uh, this one's got four star rating for twenty-seven fifty, and then this one here for forty-five bucks, which is also available on Prime, has a four and a half star rating. So let me know what you guys think in the comments, or if you have a better suggestion. Uh, I will be ordering a light tonight after this video goes up. Uh, I'm gonna wait for you guys to let me know what you think, and if you have something better options. I mean, these things, guys, from what I found, range from. A cheap one for like 10 bucks, just an orange motion light, you know, just a spinny bulb, whatever you want to call it, bubble, uh, all the way up to four, five, six, as much as you want to spend, basically. Uh, so the light really isn't going to make me a lot of money, <laughs> but I do want something that's good quality and also going to do the job I need for safety because safety is a huge concern and uh, a big factor here at Spencer Lawn Care.